The month of Dhul Hijjah is just about to begin. And now not only does this signal the launch of the long-awaited Hajj pilgrimage, but it also signifies the beginning of the best 10 days of the year. In fact, the first 10 days of this month are so special that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself takes an oath by these very days in the Quran. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam even taught us that there are no days in which righteous deeds are more beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala than these 10 days. So if you want to know how to make the most out of these 10 days before they leave us, here are a few tips to get you started. First and foremost, get your intention in place. Make a sincere intention to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala during these days to the best of your ability. A great way to start is to find out when the first 10 days of Dhul Hijjah are and to mark them on your phone calendar and start setting a plan today. One of the greatest deeds that can be done during these 10 days is to visit the sacred house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and perform the Hajj pilgrimage, the fifth pillar of Islam obligatory upon every capable Muslim. The reward of performing an accepted Hajj is no less than paradise as Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam informed us. It's also recommended that those that aren't attending the Hajj pilgrimage fast on the first nine days of the Hijjah, placing particular importance on the ninth, which is the blessed day of Arafah. In fact, fasting this day alone will expiate sins for two entire years, the preceding year and the current year. It's also a virtual sunnah to recite takbir, Allahu Akbar, tahmeed, alhamdulillah, tahleel, la ilaha illallah, and tasbih, subhanallah, as much as you can during the first 10 days of the Hijjah. There is a sound report that Abu Hurairah and Ibn Umar anhuma, would even go to the marketplaces reciting takbir, encouraging others to join in with them. And of course, the best of adhkar one can make in this month is to recite the Qur'an. Reading the Qur'an outside these days attracts endless rewards. One can only imagine the rewards it will receive within these exceptionally beloved days to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Remember, you're not only rewarded for every word you read, but rather for every letter that comes off your tongue. Another very important action Muslims must perform in this month is the Qurban sacrifice. This sacrificial slaughter is a great sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to be completed on the day of Eid al-Adha. Nevertheless, all good deeds within this month are virtuous and are multiplied in numerous folds, whether it includes giving charity, enjoining kindness to our parents, praying our voluntary prayers, maintaining ties of kinship, making supplication for ourselves and those around us, calling to the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and of course repenting to Allah from all our sins and making an active effort to change our lives for the better. Last but not least, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept from us all our deeds this month, make them heavy on our scales and may he enter us all into the gardens of paradise with those whom he loves. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.